Right, where are we? What we're we doing? Well, it's clearly Daisy again. I see, I've got a nice new toy given to me by the guys. And um, I thought I'd make a, a, a quick video. Hopefully, this microphone's in the right place. Thought I'd make a quick video because I'm in an unusual place. And where am I? Well, I'm on Shalky Island. Let's get rid of these. And I am particularly just just about here. Go on, let me put a tag down there. Yeah, well, okay, 50 meters. One thing I have noticed. The way I got here is gone. Now, I came here uh, yesterday in a rib, a uh, little Zodiac speedboat, and um, <coughs> you ain't here anymore. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get off the island. So, um, anyway, while we're here, we're going to have a little look at um, the way the island's laid out and what's here. Uh, to be honest, what's here is actually not very much. Uh, I'm going to have to keep an eye out for a boat. So, we've got a, a lighthouse. Let's go into first person. Wait, hey, let me in. don't think we're going to find much up here. I've got a sneaking suspicion if I don't find a boat to get off the island, um, I'm going to have to swim. And depending on how the server is set up, will depend whether or not I lose everything. So, oh no, doesn't look like I'm swimming. Although, that does look like it needs repair. But, yeah, this is the island. It's, you know, reasonably big. Tiny f concern, you know, for um, Daisy point of view. But, you know, this island is as big, if not bigger, than any Battlefield 3 map. One down ladder. Here we go. There are a few buildings. And, um, yeah, it's just a case of wandering around and seeing what's what. We've got a boat shed to look at. There are Zeds, because there are a few houses here. But you notice there's no grass. It's a little more primitive than the main map. I suppose they didn't anticipate spending a lot of time here. That boat looks to be in very poor condition. If you notice, the terrain isn't as good, the, um, thing. But, you know, there are places for things to spawn. A few bits and bobs. There's an entryable house there. This one's not going to be entryable. But we've got, um, spawn will come in there. And spawn comes in there. Well, we've got some grass now, which is nice. Oh, go away, you. But otherwise, it's a pretty barren place, but I'm never quite sure whether it would be a good place for a base camp in, you know, in DayZ. If you had a helicopter, it would be pretty cool. <coughs> Oi, piss off you lot. Now, the way I got here was I was up in the northeast, um, and there was a Zodiac, uh, you know, a little... I think it must be the fastest place in the game. It's, um... And it's, uh... What was it? A little inflatable with an outboard. And basically, I just... travelled the seven clicks to here. All the way down the map. But otherwise, this is a pretty empty place. We get rid of these sets. How well do you do rocks, guys? Yeah, the soft Mr. Zombie. I don't know how much else is on the map, oh, or on this on this island. Is there anything else worthy of uh, our attention? Probably not, apart from the fact it, it might make quite an interesting... Oh, I've still got one on there. Might make quite an interesting base camp for a team. Um, I'm not quite sure what use it'll be, because it'll always be tricky to get to. 
You are going to need a boat or you're going to need um, a helicopter. Don't think it's large enough any in any way, shape or form to um, land the aircraft on here because this server has fixed with the aircraft. No, that's not a long enough runway, is it? I've played a few missions in armour on this um, on this island. No, there is this just countryside and not a lot of it. So, Selkie Island. Am I pronouncing that right? S K A L I S T Y Island. Yeah. Pretty little place. But, um, yeah, not a great deal of reason to come here apart from the possibility that it might make an interesting base camp. But it would have to be for a pretty advanced team, a team with access to helicopters and boats and such like. Let's see if it had a water source, which I'm not sure if it has, and it had a place of with animals, you could probably live here. Boring game, but I know there are a few people who are into just living in the backwoods. They don't like player interaction, they don't particularly like the zombie interaction, they just want to make their character live as long as possible. Um, there's a guy I know who's had his character for a hundred days. I think the longest I've ever done, when playing daily, the longest I've ever had a character live for is about a week and a half. Can you imagine having a character that's lived for a hundred days? Good grief. It looks like a shipwreck over there. Let's go have a look at the shipwreck. Now you see, that's the mainland over there. So, in theory at least, uh, you could be shot from the mainland. This island isn't um, completely uh, safe. And of course, if you had a squad turn up, they, uh, they could have you. I mean, unless there's a, an animal spawn point. In other words, on this portion of the map, there is somewhere where goats and sheep and uh, cows and such um, spawn in. You're going to have to go to the mainland for your food. If there isn't a water source other than picking up cans of coke, uh, again, you're going to have to go to the mainland. It's not a survivable place. There are some nice detail features in this game. This map, I do like it. That shipwreck. There's a shipwreck up in the northeast, which is quite attractive to look at as well. All the times playing this game, I can't remember this shipwreck before. There you go, shipwreck. Mainland. That's as close as it gets. Now this server does have um, a lot of regular players on it. Uh, they're thinking of whitelisting it fairly soon, which might be interesting. Because when when the hackers come along, they do cause a, a right problem with the uh, with the server, and they have to reset things back. It's better than most servers on the grounds that you do get. Um Oop, we got Zed is that you do get um, admins playing. A lot of the time whilst you're playing, there'll be admins online at the same time and you can have a chat. Bugger all here, is there? And again, that's the mainland over there, through in the mist, the mist of the trees. Spawn points along there. I suppose if you were a pretty dedicated and patient sniper, you could 
sit on this island and spawn the fresh meat as it comes in. I know I'm a Bambi killing, well I'm not into player killing, you know me by now, I don't player kill, but um, yeah. We've got another house up here. Chuffing great big rock. Sweet tree out of the way. But it's a non-enterable building, you see? Mm, non-enterable. Ooh, there's a bunny. With, with, with. Ooh, had a drink. That'll do. I'm gonna watch. Yeah, we've got a watch. Ooh, a few items. A few interesting items, even. Look at this. Now, here's something I was told recently. You run out of ammunition for your saw, apparently, you can use standard rounds. I have no knowledge of this one way or t'other. I haven't tested it, but. Uh, that's what I've been told. Mind you, you'd, you'd burn through a 30 round clip pretty fast with a saw, wouldn't you? So, that's pretty much the whole island, you know? Because if we look over there, that's where we started. It's a big, you know, it's a fair chunk of the size of an island. I suppose you could live on it. Um, Just doing the occasional trip up onto the mainland to pick up some supplies you can't get on here. Let's get over here and have a little look at what we actually have in that little village. So, uh, yeah, a few interesting bits and bobs. Boat. Where's that boathouse? Oh, there it is. But so far, I don't believe there's a source of water. Um, I'll be back in a second, guys. I'm just going to do a cut. You don't see me running through this bit. So I just run from over there to over here. Because what I wanted to see is, is there a well in town? I didn't bother to check. Is there a well? Because without a well... Survival here would be very tricky, because without a well, you would be reliant on having to find a can of coke. And there is. There is a well. So yes, you can survive here. You know, you'd have to check the loot spots for cans of coke and such. Sorry, cans of food. But, uh, let's go and have a little look at the boathouse. Sorry, I'm going to go first person for this because it's always tricky running on these things. And I can't remember. Now, piers, they don't come along piers, but do they come along? No, they don't. So here we go. What's have we got? Now, I think the problem with this place is... They don't come along the pier, but they walk through this portion, and they can tap you through the wood. wonder how safe I am up here. I can hear them in the water. I can hurting themselves. zombies splashing about in the water. On that note, we'll leave it there. I think I'm going to log out, actually. Um, I just wanted to show you this. and uh, I will talk to you, ladies and gentlemen, later. See you later, boys and girls. See you later.